accident in Ohio may make you wonder about the safety of rides at county fairs in our area. The Fayette County Fair opened up tonight, and that's where David Highfield learned what's being done to keep you safe there. David. Susan, first off in Pennsylvania, it's the Department of Agriculture that is responsible for inspecting amusement rides. And they say there are no rides operating in the state like the one in Ohio. Therefore, there are no rides like that at the Fayette County Fair either. However, we did learn tonight how they inspect the rides. The Fireball Ride at the Fayette County Fair has the same name as the ride involved in the deadly accident in Ohio, but it's a completely different ride. In fact, they don't have a ride here that even resembles the one in Ohio. No, not here at the Fayette County Fair. No, we don't. Just the same, some fairgoers admit they're thinking about what happened in Columbus. Oh, horrible. Just horrible. Did it make you at all cautious thinking oh, about it? Yeah, in fact, that's what we were just talking about. You just have to trust God with it. But the Fayette County Fair president says you can also take reassurance in the rigorous steps taken here to try to prevent accidents. Obviously, it's a tragedy what happened there, and we certainly, you know, our thoughts and prayers with those folks. But we have what we feel is the best traveling carnival on the East Coast. <laughs> Powers Great American Midways operates 30 rides here. Mark Janice says if those rides weren't safe, they wouldn't let their kids and grandkids ride them. I always say our two main things that we always strive for is safety first and uh, fun seconds. Powers Great American Midway has five in-house ride inspectors. Now the state also set out an inspector today as they were setting up these rides and they also have supervisors that do inspections every day. And he believes traveling rides that have to be dismantled and rebuilt offer a safety advantage. If it was a permanent structure, you wouldn't notice it as much, but maybe when you're taking something together, putting it, uh, taking it apart, putting it together, you're going to notice something that you wouldn't see normally. Now, the Department of Agriculture says there are no rides operating in Pennsylvania like the one in Ohio, but here's where this gets a little confusing. They say they, there are two similar rides registered in Pennsylvania, just not operating right now. So as a precaution, they have asked the owners of those rides, the similar rides that are registered, to suspend any activity for the time being until this investigation is complete. We're live tonight. David Highfield, KDKA TV News.